All right, so I promised you guys I would show you Monopre if I could. So I'm in here right now in the pharmacy section. This isn't like the other Monopre, because usually the clothes are right at the front. We had the makeup in the front, but you can see they're actually like right across from me. So, and then downstairs, just wait till you see that, because it's like a full food store. So this is like a high-class Walmart, basically. It's pretty cool. So this is just some of the food that we have down here. Really, the store is everything. It's so convenient. Ramen that exists everywhere. Pasta. I get a, gotta get some of these Kinder eggs sometime. They they're like they have like a toy inside. They're they're really cool. <laughs> Alright, so I have all this candy. What should I get next time? You guys have to tell me. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, and they have all the chocolate. <laughs> Luxury cookies. <laughs> Lovely cookies. You want everything. Time once again for what did Katie buy at Monofree? <laughs> All right, so um, my main reason for going this time was that I need to get laundry detergent because my husband mother wants me to have my own thing of it, which I can understand, but I think I totally screwed that up because I'm looking around in there and I didn't see anything that just said the sieve, which is what I was told that laundry detergent was. So I got this because this was like the only thing around that was liquid and I was looking at it and it says like a deucey salt, which I was like deuce soft fabric softener. I don't know. It's only three euros. There's nothing else here. I guess I'll get it. And I get home and I plug it into Google Translate. Fabric softener. Great. So yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if you can return stuff at Monoprix. I don't know if fabric softener also kind of works as laundry detergent over here. Because it doesn't say like use with you know, something else. It just says use this much for, you know, this size load. So I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to a different mono tomorrow. Maybe they'll have it. Whatever. 
And then I got more things of tissues. <laughs> you remember the last video? And I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to go through 15 packs of tissues. Yeah, they're gone. So I got six more. So hopefully that'll just last me through to the end of cold season. I don't have really a cold anymore. Just, you know, occasional runny nose from the weather. So hopefully those will get me through. And then, of course, you have to get snacks because I get those all the time. Uh, contrary to popular belief, I don't just eat chocolate all the time. So I have this, which um, is uh, like a, I think, Japanese snack mix. They have it in the U.S. too. Um, I've tried it before. I, like there's little seaweed pieces on it. It's like salty. It's a really nice little mix. So I saw that. Yes. So I got that. And then chocolate, of course. Um, well, you see, I still have the other kind uh, that I got last time, but they're so tiny. Like, I go through these in, like, a second. <laughs> like, really, like, that's, like, actual size. So, yeah, I'm I know I'm going to run out of these soon, so I figured I would just stock up. So somebody else in my class bought this kind. I don't know if this is part of Cadbury or not. Um... We have Cadbury in the U.S., but we don't have that much of it. We just have, like, the milk chocolate and, like, one kind with nuts. We don't have all the cool, fancy stuff. Um, so this might be a Cadbury offshoot. might not. Um, but, yeah, so it has, I think, dark chocolate on the inside and pralines. So, yeah, that should be good. <laughs> there were a ton of kinds there, and I was standing there and like, should I get one with, with fruit as well as nuts? Should I get one that's, that's uh, Irish cream? <laughs> what should I get? So I decided on something somewhat boring, but maybe next time I'll get something crazier. Because like I showed you in the video, I got these. <laughs> these are actually somewhat expensive, but you know, there's a toy in there, so I guess that's why. But anyway, um, everyone who goes to yours is like, oh, Kinder Eggs are the best thing ever. You have to try Kinder Eggs. So we're going to try one right now, together. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see. Looks... I can't work off webcams with the reverse mirror image thing. Okay, so yeah, that's the wrapper. And this is what the egg looks like. It's pretty hollow. Hmm. So the outside tastes kind of like Cadbury eggs. Uh, which we have at Easter, but they're smaller than the Cadbury eggs that they have in Canada and England, which is totally unfair. I don't know why they do that, but anyway, so you see it's hollow like that, and there's like a plastic thing inside, so hold on. <laughs> I don't want it to all crumble if I try to get it out of there. <laughs> I was doing that anyway. All right. So we have this like overgrown pill bottle thing with some chocolate residue on it. Hope this is a good surprise, not like a Cracker Jack surprise. <sighs> if I could get it open, Jesus. Oh, maybe. Ah. Okay, what is this? Ooh, it's a model airplane. Ah, oh, check it out. That's inside chocolate over here. How awesome is this? Oh, I'm so jealous of European kids right now. And it has instructions and or warnings in like a bazillion different languages. <laughs> More warnings. <laughs> Wonder how safe these things are. 
and so we have instructions. Right. I feel like the rest of the chocolate that's on my lap is going to melt at some point. And I also feel like if I set this up in front of you guys, I'm just going to fail miserably and make a fool out of myself. So, I might not do that. Where the heck did I just put the... <laughs> ah, it's in my shoe. I'm not sure use these as bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, um, those are the components to a toy inside a Kinder Egg. I'm not going to set it up on camera, but and it's falling all over the place. But eventually, you may see one set up, or you will just see whatever is in the other eggs, and hopefully it won't be the same stupid toy, because that would be a little annoying. Also, I don't know why there are smurfs on the box, but there are smurfs on the box. Whatever. All right, that's it for now. See ya.